What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like the video if you appreciate the content that Poe Rowe and What's the Numbers I providing. Today, we back with another profile piece. This one is on Tashana Murphy, a.k.a. Chicken, and her brother, Taylon Murphy Jr., a.k.a. Bam. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Chicken and Bam's early life growing up in Queens and in Harlem, and also the sad turn of events in 2011 that caused Chicken to lose her life and Bam to be sentenced to 50 years in prison. Chicken spent time in Queens and Harlem growing up and was a standout basketball player. Going into her senior year of high school at Murray Bertram, a New York City powerhouse women's basketball, she was ranked the 16th best point guard in the nation by ESPN and was highly regarded as one of the best players in the city. She was on course to earn a scholarship to Division I school of her choice. But on the morning of September 11, 2011, Chicken would sadly lose her life after being shot and killed inside a building at the Grant Projects in Harlem where she lived. The story that would come out is that Chicken was hanging out with some friends in the courtyard in front of her building when two guys from nearby Manhattanville Projects chased her into a building and shot her three times. The two projects had been in a bloody back and forth feud for years. The group from Grand Projects called themselves the Three Stacks Crew, while the group out of Manhattanville Projects called themselves the Make It Happen Boys. There was also a third group to line with the Make It Happen Boys that goes by the name of Money Ave. Ten days after the shooting, two suspects, Tyshawn Brockington and Robert Cartagena, were arrested in South Carolina at a girlfriend's apartment they were hiding out at. They would be extradited back to New York and charged with the murder of Chicken. Before and after Chicken's murder, the rival crews would regularly trade insults and threats with each other on Facebook. It was common for crew members to venture into enemy territory to attack an off-guard rival then go post about it on Facebook and dare them to retaliate. So it was no surprise to detectives when an hour after the shooting, Tyshawn Brockerton posted, Ville up, basically letting those in the loop know that the Make It Happen boys from Manhattanville Projects just snatched a one-up victory over their rivals, the Three Stats crew from Grant Projects. Other crew members would continue to taunt the Three Stacks by posting about Chicken's murder in the days to follow. The war between the crews was going down, with online distance and incidents happening in the streets of Harlem on a daily basis. In December of 2011, Walter Sumner, a member of the Money Av crew, another crew from the area that's aligned with the Make It Happen boys, was shot dead after a party. Cops within hours picked up Chicken's 16-year-old brother, Taylon Murphy Jr., a.k.a. Bam, for questioning. They released him after a few hours stating that he was a witness to the shooting but not sure if he was actually involved. Near the end of 2013 heading into 2014, the two men arrested for the murder of Chicken will stand trial separately. First Tyshawn Brockington and then Robert Cartagena will both have the day in court. Eventually both will be convicted and sentenced to 25 years of life in prison. The motive for the slaying that will be presented at both trials was that Robert Cartagena was assaulted by three stacks members a day before. Some say Bam was involved, some say he wasn't. But following the altercation, Cartagena and Brockerton were out for blood. There's camera footage of the duo linking up with a third man to get a gun and walk into the Grand Projects that early morning. Once they arrive, they see Chicken in the courtyard in front of her building. Once she spots her will-be killer, she takes off into the building with Cartagena and Brockerton in pursuit. Eventually, they catch up to her. She pleads to them that she's not with none of the nonsense. That's what one of them replies, I don't care about none of that, you know, with a explicit word and shoot chicken dead. A few months after the trials and sentencing of Cartagena and Brockerton, the Manhattan DA Cy Vance will announce the biggest gang indictment in New York City history at the time. 103 members of the Make It Happen Boys, Money Ab, and the Three Stacks crew will be charged in this huge conspiracy case. Chicken's brother Bam is one of the people arrested in the indictment. At first it would only be for conspiracy and related charges, but a few months later Bam will be charged with the murder of Walter Sumner after three witnesses came forward with information. One was from his own three staff crew, the other two from the rival Money Ave crew. At Bam's trial, which started in April of 2016, the two rival crew members would testify to seeing Bam shooting Walter Sumner, while the three staff member testified to Bam admitted to committing a murder and showing him a gun that matched the description of the one used in the crime. All three turned safe evidence with the promise of a reduced sentence for the charges they were facing in the indictment. The motive once again looks to be insults on the internet as they say Walton and Sumner had made a rap video mocking Chicken's death after she died, which they say put a target on his back for Bam's revenge. Although there was no physical evidence linking Bam to the murder, no DNA, no surveillance video of the shooting and no gun, he was still found guilty of killing Walton and Sumner and in June of 2016 was sentenced to 50 years to life in prison. There was an ABC special report about Rikers Island and Bam was the main focus of the segment. You can see as a young man deals with the stress and circumstances of a murder trial and eventual conviction. Bam was only 20 years old when he got sentenced to all that time 
and around 16 when the murder happened. But show us what's the numbers TV. This was on the profile piece. This was on Chicken and Bam, Tayshawn and Murphy, Taylon Murphy Jr. And um, I try to put the most standout situations that happened in the, you know the, these years that they was going back and forth that made certain things go the way they did. The um, situation with Chicken getting killed, that wasn't the first situation between these rival crews. They've been beefing. I couldn't put it all into the video, but they've been going through it before that. That was like a tipping point which started a whole new wave of, you know, beefing and violence back towards one another. And um, also, the father of Chicken and Bam, Taylon Murphy Sr., he's still out there after losing his daughter, getting killed, losing his son to prison. He's still out there trying to, you know, squash the issues between the different neighborhoods and crews. He's on the forefront trying to put on with the other parents that lost their children to certain things, to prison or death. They're trying to, you know, go out there and, and mend the relationships between these rival projects, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot how it is. These projects will be two, three blocks away from each other and it'll be a, a war going on for years, you know what I'm saying? That might calm down for a little while, pick up. Summertime might pick up. It might not go to the gun for a while. Then it might, it might have an uptick where everybody starts getting shot. You know how it is. People go to jail. It calms down. People get out of jail. The younger kids get older. The beef kicks, kicks back up. You know, how that's how it is out there. And it's how it is in the, in, the, in the streets, especially in the urban cities where everybody's right next to each other. So it's so easy to beef with one another. But yo, I don't want to get to the rambling. It's What's the Numbers TV. It's your boy, Poe Ro. Hope y'all appreciate the content. Like, share, subscribe. Go check out the Instagram. Got the email up there. Anybody want to holler out on some business, you know how to reach me through the email. And um, salute to every one of y'all that subscribed. And I'll be back before you know it, man. It's your boy, Poe Ro. What's the Numbers TV. Be out of here. Peace.